to the channel the name is guru boy today we do have techno device right over here which is the techno spark 7 pro or the spark 7p which has google account being locked on it and also this device is run on android 11 so as you do see this device do not have skip button under the wi-fi menu so all you have to do is to connect to your wi-fi network and then proceed so i'll be inputting the password of my wi-fi network and also you can use your mobile data to connect to the internet so from here get on next and i will show you this device you have google account being set on it and you can see they say we should verify our previous pin which we don't know and also when you do proceed further it will prompt us to verify our previous google account being set on the device before hard resetting it so here we do have it there's no skip button for us to proceed so let's move back to the wi-fi menu and then begin the procedure so hit on add network and then from here hit on the mic icon and then deny permission do it again here on the mic icon deny permission and for the third time hit on the mic and now you will be prompt to allow permission so under the gymboard info hit on permission and hit on search so and here on search search for x share hit on x, x share or search for x share so when you do see x share in the list click on it and open it and also this device will involve a second device which will be sending the apps to the lock device so make sure you have a second device to to be able to send the apps which will be used in this video so here we do have it and here is the x share so pick up your second device which also have the x share be installed on it with the application which will be in the description for you to send to your log device and also you can even download it yourself right over here so let's now let's connect our device So let's do the setup now let's connect our device to the log device now click send and now send any app on your log device to the second device and let's allow permission on the device and let's do the same click on receive on your second device to receive the app being sent from your log device so let me let me let the camera focus on the permission steps and now allow scan the QR code and wait for the device to pair or connect so as you wait for the device to pair or connect make sure to subscribe to the channel and also give a like leave a comment on where you do face issue so I, I will do or help you through so now if you are now sending an app to your uh, second device and now click on more to send your apk files so here we do have the apk files we have quick shortcut frp bypass and google account manager this so these are the three files we are going to send and wait for it to successfully send or you can check it by clicking on receive to verify if the app was being sent successfully so after checking you can close the um, connection and then go to history and you will now have your apps being installed successfully automatically so if you see it not installed you can install it manually and it will work now from here click on sign in and click ok so from here sign in with your google account and sign in with your google account by inputting your google id and password
so signing in and now our device is being signed in so the second step is to click on quick shortcut maker open it and now in quick shortcut search for we can either search for android setup or scroll through the list and find it in the list so here we do have the and two android setup click the first one with no logo and uh, it's sub list click on the last one on its sub menu and hit try and now your device is successfully bypassed as you did see the video the device is being successfully bypassed and everything is working but you have to keep watching this video because i'm going to show you some minor error even it's major error because you won't be able to install app on this device but you'll be able to do everything reboot and it will work fine but you need to do the last step which is you have to factory reset your device so right now i do have low battery and i won't be able to factory reset so i'll be showing you the error and then power out uh, charge my device for a while but i'll be fast forwarding it you don't need to see my device charging so let's move to our file manager so let's move to our file manager so when you do move to our file manager i'm going to show you the error that you are going to face if you do not follow the last step so when you go to file manager allow and then when you move to apk or if you do have any apk files on your device you will not be able to install the apk files unless you download it straight from google so when you give permission to your unknown install apps and you try to install the app you see the app won't be uh, the package installer will automatically closed or crash so all you have to do is to reset or factory reset your device through the setting with don't do hard reset because hard reset will get your device locked once again so all you have to do is to go to settings in the settings in the settings you go to about device and then reset so hit on the reset set, uh, option and now you can factory reset your device so i'll be fast forwarding this procedure so make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is Guruba and also if you are able to make it to this point then consider yourself removing google account on your techno spark 7p and also this video works on techno spark 7 as well so now click skip and under the wi-fi menu we do have the skip button right over here for us to skip and this time we don't need to connect to the internet or anything so proceed and set up your device so hit on start and now your device will take you to the start uh, home screen and from here you will be able to install app from third parties and also download apps from the internet and you'll be able to install it without even play store so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is guru boy peace